right guys, welcome back to Indulge with Dimples. Today I'm here to let you know about um, what's going on with my updated journey on my keto, low carb, calorie deficit type of situation. So anyway, I'm here to tell you stop, stop, stop buying into all these different type of diets. They said keto diet, we can provide you with the food, we can do this and that, we can meal prep. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Stop, because you can do it yourself, and I'm going to tell you right now, everything that I say is not sponsored by nobody. I'm just telling you, I tried it, test, tried, error, and I'm telling you what works. And what doesn't work, I'm not going to even talk about it. If it does work, I will let you know. Once again, nobody is sponsoring this video. Nobody is paying me. I wish they would pay me to tell them about the great things that I found out, but they're not. So, further ado, let's get into it. I like snacks. Snacks, I love sweet things, I love salty things, I love umami things. I love it, I love it. I'm a snack person. I can graze all day, snack, crunch, munch, sweet, pop, tart, all of it. But, you know, we live in the real world, so if you continue to do that, you're going to get bigger, you're going to expand, you're going to have bad health, you're not going to live long, and hell, you might not even have kids if you're a female. Or men, because you know your sperm goes down but nor here nor there to say I'm here to let you know um, quit buying into all these diets if you want to work out get a gym membership Planet Fitness is really great it's ten dollars in your local area if you want to do a little bit more because you're a little bit heavier but you want to do um, less intense workout do the why they have the spa they have the pool um, you can do it at your own time and your wrist and it's great for you if you don't have the money for a gym membership guess what nature the best thing yet get out there and walk walking cardio started out once you build that momentum and you feel like you want to lift some weights or you want to go a little bit heavier you want to do a little bit more then find you a gym that's in your range price range and it meets your requirements now let me tell you something if you stay tuned i'm gonna tell you how much i weigh and i'm gonna tell you if i'm even in ketosis because i went and got some scripts from the local pharmacy um i think i was at cbs and i got them they was like nine dollars eight something with some change and i got them and i tested and i will be putting it right here to show you if i'm in ketosis or not and i'm gonna say right now i eat granola I love granola. Granola is my favorite. So I get granola. On top of that, I measure everything. I have cups and I have a scale. I measure everything. I went to Walmart and got a $10 scale. And whatever it says on the package, that's what I measure out. And I scan it. Bam. Now, if you're looking for something to start off because diet is most important, you need to know how much, what it is from calories to carbs. Listen, my fitness pal, they're not paying me, but there are great apps to download. iPhones, Androids, download it. Easy. It's free. All you got to do is put your time and effort into it and be consistent. Bam, you starting off a new plan. And then something else that I learned that's really nice and cool is Card Masters. I love it. If you see my other video, I think I mentioned it. If I haven't, bam, Card Masters and my fitness pal are two great apps to download if you're trying to track your carbs and your calories. All in the same one, one and all, okay? So that being said, these are things that I'm telling you that are tips being a healthier person. Not only that, I'm about to show you some of my favorites that I have found, I have tried, and they stay under my calorie, and they are fitting into my carbs, okay? So furthermore, let's get into it. All right. <laughs> so I like sweets. If you're a sweet type of person and you're looking like I need something to eat for sweets and I don't think I can do this little carb or I can count my calories, baby, Quest Bars, okay? I have tried these out. I have looked into them. They are good. They're fulfilling. And they have a lot of fiber, so they fill you up. Quest Bars, okay? Now, all the Quest Bars are not good. I'm going to tell you that right now. Some of them, they say they don't have but one gram of sugar, but that erythritol in there, I don't know. It's too sweet. I'd be like, mmm, shaking. It's not for me. They have a lot of the bars. They have a lot of chocolate. So if you're not a chocolate lover or a fan, um, they do have some that are not chocolate. But I'm going to tell you right now, some of the bars are sweet. But the ones that I like, I'm about to show you today, I have narrowed them down to two. 
Well, I have three, but one of them I ate and I thought I had it, but I don't. So I'm gonna narrow it down. I'm gonna show you ones I like. Right now, this Quest Bar, it is the coconut cashew. It has four net carbs, one gram of sugar, 15 grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein. This is a snack, a break. Um, if you eat this, this is like kind of like a meal replacement, or you can add on something to it depending on your calories and how many carbs are you getting. This fits into my calorie and carbs. I like this one. You also can try the mocha chocolate chip, four net carbs, one gram of sugar, 14 grams of pro. I mean, sorry, it is 14 grams of fiber and 20 grams of protein. This is the bump too. I don't like too sweet, so this is good. And I just got this today, and it's the Rocky Roll. It has five grams net carbs, one gram of sugar, 14 grams of fiber, and 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna try this out maybe tomorrow or later on today. So this is good. If you're looking for something sweet and you have a sweet tooth and you want to do a low carb calorie, bam, the Quest Bar. Okay? So, something else that I like if you have a sweet tooth, almond butter. It's better than regular peanut butter. It has the same goodness of fat that you need and it's great. Two tablespoons of this. Two tablespoons of this is only three net carbs, okay? It's 200 calories, eat it with some celery, bam, bada boom, almond butter. This is my favorite. Y'all know I got that at Santa's Club. If you need to drink because you are a Starbucks fan, you look looking like, every time I go to Starbucks, I am busting my net carbs. I'm busting them, okay? The premier protein drinks. Do you see this? This is caramel. 30 calories, 30 calories. It has 24 vitamins and minerals, low fat, one gram of sugar, 160 calories, and guess how many net carbs are in this? Guess, three, three. This is my favorite, the caramel one. If I wanna make a smoothie or I just want that banana flavor, they have the banana one, I love it. And then they have the plain smaggler degler vanilla okay they have chocolate they have peaches and cream cookies and cream um they got another one but these top three are my favorite i love them i drink them these are the things that i get to when i have a sweet tooth okay so now when it comes to savory and a little bit of sugar and i want savory and just a little bit of sugar but i still want that crunch and munch i go to my go-to's now i just found this um probably three days ago but it fits into my calories and carbs and i have never seen these but at big lots so if you have a big lots or you've seen them at your local store hey let me know leave a comment down below these babies right here moon cheese moon cheese are made with nothing but cheese it's high in protein all natural gluten free excellent source of calcium and guess how many Net carbs are in these moon cheese. This guy zero, okay, zero, and it's only 70 calories. Listen, you can get five to six or five to seven of these, or six or seven. Okay, I'm saying it all wrong. Six or seven of these moon cheeses, they're good. Um, they have a variety of different flavors, but I like Gouda cheese and I like pepper jack. And you can tell I've been eating the pepper jack because they are the bomb, okay? So this is if you got like a cheesy, salty, you know, you feeling it, get these moon cheese. They're really good. I just found them like two or three days ago. But before I found them, my go-to was planter peanuts. I will have one of these. These are good. It's um, pre-packaged. I like the ones that are pre-packaged because if you get the container, you got to measure them out. Pre-packaged it. That's all. Three net carbs for this. Also, zero carbs is 80 calories for a half of or 14 grams of your pork rinds. Get any flavor. I'm a pork rind fanatic, baby. I go around to stores. I look if they got different flavors. I like the sweet teriyaki ones. Teriyaki. Oh, my God. They're the bum. But the barbecue ones, they're good, too. Name brand, no brand. I tried them brands, and they're the bum. Okay? So, I like pork rinds. If you like to substitute that... You know, that crunch, the chip, because I am always, will forever be a Dorito fan. I love Doritos. Nacho Doritos. I even like the spicy Nacho Dorito ones. I had them before I started, you know, getting my life on track. But yes, I'm always going to be a Dorito fan, but the pork rind, it substitutes it for me for the crunch and the flavor. So, I'm just letting you know. 
Now, if you a meat lover and you like to snack on meat, lunch meat is good. Everybody knows what lunch meat is. And then you also can get pepperonis, turkey, or beef, or sausage. But I found these. Well, I didn't find them. I know where they're at. My mom introduced me to these a long time ago when I said I want to be on low carb. I was like, guess what? Your girl got to go get some of these. You can eat about six of these 30 grams. Um, they're 80 calories. It has one net carb, seven protein. And uh, once again, these are good if you're on low carb, keto friendly, okay? You can get the turkey ones. I like turkey. I eat a lot of turkey, chicken, and seafood. But if you like beefy, beefy, get you some get you some real beef beef. You feel me? I ain't knocking you. I'm not knocking you. Now if you need something to dip, if you a dip type of person, I don't salsa is not good. A lot of tomato. Um, tomatoes have a lot of carbs for you. That's not good. But the laughing cow cheese. Come on now. Get with it. Everybody knows the laughing cow cheese is great. This one, the original one, is 50 calories. How many net carbs is in this? Oh girl, one net carb, 50 calories, and how many proteins? Two. So the laughing cow cheese. You can eat that. That can be part of your dip. And my thing and my most favorite, you have to have a unique inquiry for this hummus. They got all types of hummus out now. They just taking beans and mashing them and smashing them and talking about they hummus. But I like the sriracha spicy hummus. You can get the name brand one or, you know, everybody knows about Idy's. You can get that Idy flavor, that Idy's feel, the feel, feel. So they have the hummus, but I like the spicy. It's just or the spinach. It's one is green. I don't know if it's spinach, but it doesn't matter. It's good. Um, I think it's two net carbs. Let me read it for you. Let me get down to the two tablespoons. You have 50 calories and how many net carbs? Three. Hey, there you go. So that's good too. Now, something that I want to tell you. Um, I know they were like the best thing for you to lose weight and the best thing you should drink. Guess what, y'all? Water. W-A-T-E-R. Water is fantastic. It has everything that you need to be a better person. Water. Okay, I believe it. I know it. I truly, truly love it. They have all types of water. They got pH balanced water, 7.4 core. They have um, your tap water. You can get your mineral water. You. They got all types of waters out here. You get your purified water. You can get your baby mac water. I mean, water, water, water. They got flavored waters. But sometimes you get tired of drinking water. I do. I know I do. I get tired of drinking water. So, that being said, I found some nice drinks that have carbonated flavors in them besides the regular smuggler stuff that we see. And, um... It's really good. Now, I drink one of these like once a week. Maybe sometime I indulge and get two, but it's up to you and how you feel. But it helps me out. It's like the best thing since sliced bread, okay? And it's ice. Sparkling ice. Classic lemonade is my favorite. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. My favorite. I've been drinking on it. This takes me all day to drink it. I don't know why, but it does. And when I do drink it, sometimes I don't even have my snacks in between. Because normally I get to have two snacks. I don't even have a snack in between. Let me give you the rundown what's in this sparkling ice water. Now, carbohydrates, zero. Sugar, zero. Protein, zero. Calories, zero. It's ice water. <laughs> no, it's the ice drink. Um, all the flavors are not my best. They have a peach nectarine. Bomb, okay? Bomb. The lemonade, bomb. Um, the strawberry lemonade, bomb. And then I just picked this one up today because I buy these in bulk. Uh, but they have this kiwi strawberry. I don't know. I just like it because it was pink. It had the breast cancer symbol on there. And I'm all for anything that's supporting the cause, okay? So um, if it's nasty, I don't know, but I just bought it because of the cost. You know, they had them up there. They're like, buy it, breast cancer, you know, whatever. And, you know, our favorite handy dandy water. You always have to have that come through for me, come through for me. But if you do not want to drink sparkling water, there's other things that you can do because I tell you I, that I fast too. So me being a faster, intermittent fasting, I can drink the sparkling water. I can also drink my green tea, which I get these and I make them and I brew them. They're really good. I like two of them. I like it a little strong. So I get these. I put two of them in there. Um, I also reach back. I also do Lipton's tea. 
but I love Lipton's unsweetened tea, okay? So you can drink that if you are um, intermittent fasting and it's good for low carb, low calories, so and keto friendly, all right? Last but not least, you can drink your black coffee. I just buy these like every two weeks. They last me. You get about seven in the pack, sometimes six, and I just drink it just like this. I have to put two of these in here when I do drink it because I like my coffee strong, but not too strong that it's like, <gasps> but you know, you get what I'm saying. So you can drink black coffee as well. All that saying, please do not feel like you don't have a friend to help you out. If you need some advice, you need help, you need a strategy, you need a plan, I'm here. Quit buying into all these advertisements, these marketing. Um, I know we're here to make money. We got to make money. We got to do it. But I feel like if you're not mind, body, and sound is put together and you went out and buying these plans and these diet plans and meals, you're not going to make it. Because simple fact, at the end of the day, you have not changed your mind status to be where you need to be to lose weight. At the end of the day, you can buy a gym membership but never go with twice out the month you're wasting your money you can buy these meal plans and these shakes and these smoothies you can buy everything that's labeled keto friendly or low carbs or 70 calories and under and you can overindulge and overeat because you're not ready your mind has not changed to a new status at the end of the day I want to let you know you have to change your mind in order for you to change your world and your, your situation around you. Be. Just don't jump into something because you heard someone else tell you and you feel like it fits you when you don't know. Everything in the world is test, trial, and error. So that's all I want to tell you. Now that being said, I gave you my testimony that we have to change our mind to set a new foundation for ourselves. I'm going to tell you right now, I start off at 220. Woo! 220, baby! And I am down to 209. I am like a bird in the wind. I'm feeling good about myself. I'm energized. I'm ready to rock and roll. I love it. So that being said, I have done a great job and I'm going to keep it up. I have, and I know I have a sweet tooth. But once again, I have show you some substitutions that I am doing that is helping me with the intermittent fasting and with me finding a good meal nutrition plan. I'm doing it myself and I'm not spending that much money and I'm doing it at my pace. So I'm losing about a pound and a half at my pace. Not no one else's pace or what people or the doctor might say. I'm doing it at my pace. On top of that, I'm going to put my weight right here so you're going to see it. I'm happy and I am great and good and I'm ready to go. So once again, oh yeah, yeah, and y'all thought I forgot. So yeah, I told you I do eat a little granola every now and then. I indulge in that. I make my own yogurt and all that. I'm going to show y'all some more videos of just how you can get started on cutting the sweets out of your diet. But yeah, I'm going to show you that as well. But also, I test script, a ketosis script to see if I'm in ketosis. And guess what? What do you see right here? Okay. What do you see? What do you see? I mean, I, I see it. Do you see it? Can you see it? So, next time I make a video, I'm going to see if, I, if I'm in it. If I'm not, I don't know. I'm going to let you know. You let me know. <laughs> All right. So, next time, stay tuned with those your dimples. This is my journey. I'm trying to make it big, baby. I'm trying to make it big in life and be healthy, happy healthy, happy, and successful in my journey of being one with myself. Until next time, peace, love you, stay tuned to Indulge with Simple.